Hey, what's going on you guys? Drum Machine Addicts is back again today and in this tutorial we're going to talk to you guys about NPC Swing and the Vintage Mode and pretty, pretty much pretty much pretty much that gave us with the Vintage Modes and how to use the infamous NPC Swing function. So let's start with the Vintage Modes, okay? I have two samples loaded up. One is a drum and one is a percussion based instrument. That one might be a little more audible to you. But anyway, let's say we're going to use the Vintage Mode functions, all right? Basically what those are, if you go here, you see Akai has given us four different emulators that we can either put on an individual pad or we can put them on the program outputs themselves. And what it's supposed to do is emulate the actual MPC 3000, MPC 60, and so on. Now, in my experience, these vintage modes are very subtle with their sound, so you may not hear a lot, if any, change, except with the SP-1200 ring, which adds a lot of distortion. I don't really use that one that much. Um, but anyway, say this is the drum by itself. Again, might be a little low for you. But with the MPC-60 vintage mode on it, I can just tell by my computer speakers that the low end has been amplified a little bit. So that's noticeable. But with the MPC 3000, it might have brought out the mid-level frequencies a little more. Again, it's just something really subtle that they've included. But you can include it either on the channel strip here, or you can go to the program edit screen and put it on both. This here. So now our kick has an MP3... Uh, excuse me mpc 3000 emulator on it so that's pretty much it with the emulations you can play with them yourselves and learn the differences and you know get a feel for which one you want to use the most if any at all now to kind of move on to mpc swing so basically swing is something that was created by the mpc creator roger lynn to kind of give drums a looser feel to make them feel more alive so it's really just to give a groove to your drum patterns and when swing is applied, whatever you're playing, whatever you're recording at that time is given that swing. So say if you have like triplet notes for your hi-hats, if we go to the swing button up here, 50% or the 50 means 50%, which means no swing. But if we put it up to 66, that means it has two thirds of the time of the first hi-hat that was played. So that's perfect swing. So to kind of, demonstrate what that means let me play something right quick with no swing so i'm going to take this hi-hat and i'm going to have the note repeat on 16 and record it okay now if you heard that it pretty much play all the way straight through no swing on it and it sounds regular right okay well let's go to pattern two and this time we'll put 66 percent swing on it All right, hear the difference and notice the way that the two are bunched up right here on the pattern versus in sequence one, everything has equal spacing. So basically swing just affects the groove of your patterns. You can put it on any of your drums. I'm pretty sure you could do the same with your VSTs as well. And it'll kind of give whatever you're doing a different feel. So those are really two good functions that come with the MPC software. Go ahead and play with them. Let me know what you think. Send me any messages if you have any questions about it. And again, don't forget to subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. This is the Drum Machine Addicts, and we are gone. Peace.